Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all once again to what might be a scary game, from what I hear. This is called The Cursed Forest, and it is a... It's built on the CryEngine, a, a free version of the CryEngine, so it's not something you have to pay for. And I will, of course, link it in the description, as I tend to do. This is... Well, another one of those free horror games that just kind of seems to be trending lately. I don't usually do things that are uh, kind of in the mainstream a lot, but I felt like doing this one just because I haven't done a horror game in a while. In fact, the last time I did a horror game was, I think, last summer. I did Ile de Fons, and that was quite a fright, I certainly must say. And this time... Uh... We're going to be playing this game. Now, hopefully I can get this full screened once we're in the game. So, like I said, it's built on the CryEngine, a free version of it. So, in terms of graphical fidelity, it's definitely a bit better than most of the free horror games we get these days. But it's still got its problems, but kind of have to shed those concerns. And I'm sure we can enjoy this. Um... I have no idea how this game really plays. I know it's another one of those with very limited controls. In fact, it doesn't even give you a, an actual uh, control scheme. There's no rebindable keys or anything. In fact, the only options you have whatsoever are just nine different resolution settings. So there's not a whole lot to it. I do believe it's running. I think it's just going to take a minute. Uh-oh. This afternoon, August 13, I received bad news. My mother back in the city had a heart attack, so I rushed there. The road to the city is rather lengthy, so I decided to take a shortcut through the, a place that some called Cursed. Because of such a reputation, no one had taken that path for quite some time, but I did not care. What I cared about was getting to my mother as quickly as possible. The sky was unusually clear and the sun was shining bright. That is, until I made a turn into that cursed place. Suddenly, it has become dark, so that even my headlights did not make any difference. I had to drive in total darkness no matter what. Then something unusual happened. Without any reason, my car electricity suddenly started to go off. I heard a strange noise and a dark human figure appeared in front of my car. I tried to brake to the side, but I lost control and ended up in a ditch. Then all faded into darkness. Next thing I know, I'm awake at some strange place on top of a hill. And this screen is just kind of going to stick around here for a while. Can't skip it. All right, let's check it out. So full screen is J. That doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. Why doesn't it work? There we go. So when I alt tabbed out of it, it actually, it thought it was still on full screen, but it was still on a window. Interesting. So the frame rate's not that good. That's probably just because it's a cry engine, which I know all the Crisis games have been humongously hardware intensive. It does have, you know, it has like real time shadows and everything, which is impressive, but texture resolution is kind of low. It does have these, these bushes kind of get shoved out of your way, but they still look like shit. It does have physics, which are a bit uh, iffy. Anyway, we're not here to really harass the uh, developer on his. Uh, programming skills. I don't think there's a sprint key of any kind. I've yet to find one. You can crouch, toggle crouch, you can jump. Eh. So, the last time I played a game anything resembling this was Dream of the Blood Moon. And to date, I will still say that that is the scariest game I've ever played. Even scarier than Amnesia. I can't really describe what was so terrifying about it, but... Uh, actually, quite amusingly, the last time I did a scary game, I believe the only reason I was able to finish it was because... I had, uh... a good friend here, which is joining me again for this evening, so... Let's see if I can get through this. I have no idea how long this is supposed to be, but... There's no way to save the game. It does, however, have checkpoints. So, it's probably going to be a bit longer than anything like Slender. I don't know if this is another one of those Slender clones. I really know nothing about it apart from the fact that 
some higher profile YouTube channels have been playing it as of late. Uh, screen just dark in there. Imagine that was supposed to spook me a little bit. I have a light on. I would rather turn it off. It kind of makes things a bit more immersive, but I do want to do the webcam. If I was ever a uh, high-earning channel, I would probably invest in a night vision camera for this sort of thing. Fire! What's the use key? I have no idea what the use key is. I don't know if there is a use key. Whoa! I went flying. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty spooky forest. It's kind of a combo of Skyrim and Dear Esther, I suppose. Ooh. Something's a rattling. Low res newspaper clippings. Very dirty bed. I shall not take a nap. Read the note F. Tomorrow's a day when everything is going to change. I tried to convince the Morgans to stop what they were playing. They did not listen to their daughter out of this world. I don't understand how parents can agree to such horrible things. Things did not go well. What have they done? I don't know if anyone's going to read this, but there's one thing I know for sure. What they have awakened does not remind me of that good little girl I knew since she was five. I heard a horrible scream in the distance. I don't think this hut is safe anymore. I feel like I'm being watched. I need to get all her remains and all the ritual stones to repeat the ritual. Maybe it will purify the innocent soul. You've got to be shitting me. So we're being hunted by a little girl. Oh my god. I'm going to hate this game. What the fuck? Who threw that? Every time I start a horror game, I feel like it's going to be, oh, this is going to be a fun, it's going to be a fantastic idea. And then five minutes, I'm hating my decision. I can't get on the roof. I know I'm going to hate this game. I'm probably not going to finish it. <laughs> That's just the way I roll. There are checkpoints. I have no idea when the condition is right for a checkpoint save. Here's another thing I'm wondering. I can't move when I have the escape menu up, but I have no idea if it actually pauses the game. So you can definitely see the setting is still happening, so if I'm being chased by something, my instinct might be the... What the fuck?! By the way, as far as that Evan Williams goes, I've mixed it with a bit of Coke this evening. So that's what I'm drinking. What the fuck? It's an arm! Fuck out of this place. What the fuck is that? It's gotta be a sprint key. Come on, give me a sprint. Fuck off! Let's go this way, I guess. Oh my god, I do not do well with horror games. When I started my YouTube channel, actually, it was sort of with the intention of doing a lot of horror stuff. It did not really work out that way. I ended up doing more walkthrough type series. Go to hell! I'm not really complaining about that, because, to be honest, first of all, I don't enjoy horror games as much as I like to pretend to. I have no idea why I ever start these. So I end up really regretting them. And second of all, what was that? 
Second of all, the rare occasion I do do them because I'm not really desensitized to them as a result of playing them too often, I do believe makes them more entertaining. I might be a bit lost here. There's something else over there. That's a right leg, it looks like, or a left leg. What? Who's there? I see you. I have no idea if you're actually chased in this. That's a weird thing. Everything I've seen so far seems to be scripted. I kind of have to see with this light in my face. I don't think there's any getting up here. I can certainly tell you, if everything's scripted in this, then I'm really not going to have any problems at all. It's going to be a bit underwhelming. Especially if there's no sprint key. It's almost like... It's almost like a, just a sort of... Horror story of Dear Esther. I remember reading about uh, the Chinese room when they're talking about their next game, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Trying to talk about how it's supposed to be a bit more interactive than their previous games, which have been Dear Esther, of course, and I see you up there. I can see him. Dear Esther and Amnesia Machine for Pigs. And they're trying to talk about how it's more interactive because you can open doors and all this. It's like, wow, those are amazing features. You can see that shit up there. There he goes, he's off running. Fucking Mothman or something. What, the, uh... The head bob is pretty interesting. I'm really sure what I'm trying to go from here. I have no idea when it does a checkpoint save. I know that there was a way I didn't go down there. Guess we'll worry about that later. Outhouse. Good, because I ne might need to shit myself. Yeah, I see something across the lake there. Or this swampy thing, whatever it is. What the fuck are you? It's a frog. Quack, quack. Something more like a duck than a frog. Can I swim? Splish. What the hell is this shit? I got a pelvis. Marvelous. What was that? Do I wanna... Can I keep going? I don't think that's a good idea, but... YOLO, I suppose. Oh god, I'm drowning, I think. There's no way I can get across there. Fuck this place. Alright, I think I'm being pulled in the water or something. Yeah, I'm drowning! Holy shit! Jesus fucking Christ! I think something actually pulled me down there. Can I take this? Got no oars. Lobster trap? What the hell you have a lobster trap for? It's a pond. There ain't no lobsters in the pond. So... I mean, all I know is I'm supposed to find... What? What the fuck? Um... I have to find her remains? And then some stones or something? And then do a ritual to try and release her spirit or something. How much you want to bet it's not going to work out like that? Every horror game you ever find, they try to release a little girl's spirit and it turns out she just makes herself an even bigger monster because of it. 
all her remains and all the ritual stones. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I mean, so far I found three pieces. Somewhere a passage open. Well, that's helpful. There's a lot of somewheres in this place. Let's just go this way. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like anything... Didn't seem like anything was chasing me. The situation might have changed. This is fucked up. Woohoo, another fork. And music. Oh my fucking god. I think the guy who made this said he used most most of the sound samples came from Skyrim. What? Oh. I guess that's the final location. Skyrim, Metro 2033... What else? Or Metro Last Light, but... I think they reused most of the same sound samples anyway. And some other games, but... I don't know. I have no idea where you got this music from. Sounds a bit like Moose from Stalker. That's reassuring. Probably gonna block my path. We got a water tower, it seems. Oh my god, I hate this game. Nothing's really happened yet, though. I've been sort of... Wavs jumping out at me. Ambience and... It's sort of malarkey. There's been like that shadow in the distance. I'm not sure what his deal is. What was that? And the fact that it has checkpoint saves leads me to believe that there is, in fact, a way to die. But I have no idea if it's just environmental deaths or if you can actually be killed by something. Huh. I've been noticing this. Get too close to something, it kind of clips through the screen. I feel like that's just a weird problem just because of a fixed FOV. There's no FOV slide or anything. Like I said, the options are very minimal. I think something just ran in here. Oh, go to hell. You don't want to rip. What the? He's in a fucking attic. No! A heartbeat. A heartbeat's starting to reminisce of uh, Ile de France. I don't believe it. Oh my fucking god. It came out of the fucking outhouse. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm out to your shit, buddy. Give me that. Go to hell. My ass is the fuck out of here. Tell you what, having those checkpoint saves certainly makes this a lot easier to finish than Dream of the Blood Moon or anything like that. I wish they made the monster a bit more interesting. Oh god, do we have to go cave diving? No, we're just falling the river it seems. I 
This is some kind of bullshit. Oh. Hold up. Ah! Run and don't... Don't look at the shadow. Can I sprint? I've got no way to sprint. Jumping there slows me down, it seems. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is not... It's not, uh... Thrilling me at all. Oh no, stones are moving. Oh my god, cryptic, scripted chase scenes. Alright, so far this is the low point of this game. I must be quite Francis. Oh my goodness, we narrowly escaped with our lives. No urgency in that whatsoever. Whew. Honestly, my heart's still pounding from that fucking outhouse. Yeah, nope, thanks. I suppose we should follow the lights. At least that, that shadow looked a bit like a f feminine figure. Seemed to have long hair or something. The other shadows have all just seemed generic shadows. Oh, I knew it! I'm doomed. Oh. I was literally about to say how much you want to bet a boulder comes running down here. I have no idea why it stopped, though. Might have just been a hallucination. This whole place is about to come down, it seems. Uh-oh. Got some ruins. What the hell happened to the foliage? It's disappeared. Spooks. Ruby KB. This looks like fun. Not. Uh oh. There's something over there. Tell you what, being able to jump is nice. I heard something. God, the frame rate is terrible. This is not good. Ah, ribs. What? Fuck this place. You know, I tried to play Dear Esther, actually. I tried to do a recording of it. I just did one playthrough. And I realized I don't think I ever pressed record on Audacity, so... That all went to waste. Somewhere a passage open. Well, thanks. It really doesn't help me a whole lot. Right, well, we're back here, so I guess we're done in this direction. Oh, fuck you. I don't know, so far it seems like the only places to die are absolutely scripted. Alright, well... Thanks for that. That sound... I feel like that sound came from Outlast or something. Never did play Outlast myself. kind of regret that. I just didn't have $25 at the time. Not that I could really... Whoa! That was dirty. The hell is this shit? It's a book it. It's an apple. Am I hungry? Fuck no! 
Uh, at a time like this. <coughs> oh, it's poisoned, I knew it. <coughs> Who to thunk? Oh, great. What the hell kind of bullshit was that? Oh, jeez, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna die! Whoa! Ah! Alright, alright, alright. Somewhere a passage is open. Yeah, I know. Be prepared for the jump scare. No, it's coming this time. Any minute now. Who needs a hug? So fuck the apple. I'm just gonna go this way. I don't know, the fact that this is so scripted is really what's making it much easier for me. I mean, even Elder Fonts was kind of scripted. Oh, jeez, I can't go this way either. Elder Fonts was pretty scripted, but... I think that it was... It benefited from its linearity, actually. In that sense. And it was able to make it terrifying by its atmosphere and its overall design. It had a definite claustrophobic design to it, since it all took place in this one apartment complex. Alright, well, we seem to be able to go this way now. We could Oh, go to hell. But, like, this... It gives the impression of being sort of open sandbox, but then it has these arbitrary barriers that kind of block you off. It's pretty clear it wants to go to, to go mostly over, along a sort of preset path, and all like all these horrors are triggered just by walking past a certain area. So it loses out a lot because of that. And really, the only thing scaring me so far are the jump scares. Atmosphere is decent, but it could definitely do some work. There's no, like, unscripted chase scenes so far. Alright, now this is reasonably well done. The fog is a nice touch. I do see red. That shit's moving! I don't think I want to go anywhere near that. I do see something over here I need to grab. All right, well, that's different. If that's what's going to kill me, I can appreciate that. So we got to stay way away from that. It's coming right here. Now it's going what? Ah! It got me. <laughs> I'm not pleased with this at all. about this. Get the fuck out of here. Before that thing comes back. Keep fucking moving. Oh my god, it's deep. I think that shit's looking for me now. Oh man, that is the goose bumpinest most part of this whole fucking game. <sighs> oh, 
Barrel! You dirt dog. Oh boy. What was that? Oh man, I'm itching like a mofo. It just opened. It's probably that way I couldn't go just prior. That bucket's still there. The apple is still here. Like, what, the, what are they thinking? The only reason I grabbed that was because I wanted to figure out what the hell happened. I knew it was not something beneficial to my health. So far, this is the only way I'm aware of that we couldn't go before, so... Yeah, it seems to be clear. Might be the last piece we need up here. Got one stone. You've got to be kidding me. I'm having none of you. No. 